we talk about crime stories in India, is Chennai really a city that comes up? It's all very relative, Malika. Say, if you have to uh, compare with cities like Mumbai or Delhi, the numbers obviously show that crimes are higher there. But uh, being an urban center, crimes are inevitable in Chennai. As a crime reporter, I would say a crime like a chain snatching is very traumatic for the victim. They are very personal and uh, victims are traumatized for a long time. Sometimes they are even fatal. Even say murders for instance, Chennai's numbers are up there with Mumbai and Delhi. But in most cases, they all happen within the family. But these are crimes of passion, crimes that happen in the moment. But in today's episode, we're going to talk about a bank heist, which is something that requires meticulous planning in order to execute. And I'm surprised that something like that has caught our attention in Chennai. It is funny that you mentioned the word meticulous planning when you talk about a bank heist because what happened in Chennai had none of the meticulous planning involved. At least probably the childhood friends who planned this heist, they thought that they had had it meticulously planned, but it was at best a full errand. You see, August 15, 2022, India was gearing up to celebrate its 76th Independence Day. Chennai was fortified. 20,000 police people were on the ground. It was two days before the Independence Day, which Murugan had planned to rob the bank. So, on August 13, Murugan walked into the Arumbakam branch of Fed Bank. You see, Murugan is an employee of Fed Bank. He knows how much gold is pledged there. He thought he could easily get away with it. On the day he went, there were only two people in the branch. The branch manager Suresh and another employee Vijay Lakshmi. So, he used to work at that branch. So, he must have known his co-workers. Exactly. Murugan was acquainted with both Suresh and Vijay Lakshmi and they didn't have any reason to suspect him. At that moment, the branch manager Suresh, he got a call from Padi where Murugan used to work uh, inquiring about his whereabouts. Uh. So, Murugan's phone was switched off. Uh. So, Suresh, curious, he just walked up to Murugan and asked him, Murugan, people are trying to reach you. Your phone is, seems to be not reachable. So, Murugan told him that, uh, yeah, I have left it for service. Uh. So Suresh, okay, probably uh, he was fine and Suresh left. Murugan was walking back and forth in and out of the branch and Murugan walked in with two more people and even then Suresh didn't find anything amiss. He thought probably Murugan is bringing two extra customers to pledge gold. But when they brandished the knife, things went haywire. Even at that moment, because of old time's sake, Suresh tried to appeal to Murugan's moral concerns. He told him, Muruga, this is bad. You don't have to do this. This is the bank which employed you, which fed you and your family. But Morgan had crossed all those moral lines by then. A WhatsApp status on his phone just before he carried out the haste was hot topic among the police. But police flatly refused any such inspiration theories. They in fact told that it was plain old greed at play which forced Morgan to rob the bank. So, Murugan and his gang locked up Suresh and Vijay Lakshmi in one of the rooms. They bundled up 31.7 kilograms of gold and they flipped from the place in two wheelers. So, I heard it was a customer who actually alerted the police and not the bank staff themselves. You were right. A customer who happened to walk into the bank since something was amiss and he was the one who alerted the police. In fact, police pointed out that the bank people called up their higher-ups instead of calling the police control room or the local police. Had they probably alerted the police earlier, probably they could have caught up soon. Police eventually caught them, but uh, Murugan and his gang had a little bit window ahead of the police for their escape. So who were the first people the police caught? The very next day, police had arrested two people, Balaji and Santosh. Police recovered 18 kilograms of gold from them. By this time, there was talks that even Murugan was apprehended by the police. The more imaginative ones were Murugan walked into the police station in Koratur and told that, Hi, I am Murugan. I was the one who was involved in the bank heist. But police said they were keeping mum on Murugan's arrest because there were still gold to be recovered. And things were hush-hush for a lot of time. 
for two days there were no arrests police were tracing there there were cctv images of them escaping in bikes there were no arrests and then on august 18 a thursday a bomb dropped police said that they recovered 3.5 kg of gold from a tamil nadu police inspector's house in acharapakkam in chengalpattu the same night on thursday police said that they had arrested murugan and two others surya and sendil kumaran so at this point the inspector is not yet arrested so it made a lot of people talking but the very next day city police said that they are arresting inspector amal raj for concealing information about stolen property marnal avaru poi the accused santosh avaru veetla paakumbodha avaru theriyum and the jewelry avaru kitta avaru kuduthu vandathu moon naal avaru veetla anga irundirukku and the thagavala avaru theriyum அதனால் தான் நேற்று அவரை வந்து நம்ம ரிப்போர்ட் அனுப்பியிருக்கோம் அவரை வந்து நடவடிக்கை எடுத்து நம்ம காவல்துறை இயக்குநருடைய உத்தரவு பேரில் காஞ்சிபுரம் வந்து காஞ்சிபுரத்தில் அவரை வந்து சஸ்பெண்ட் பண்ணியிருக்கிறாங்க இன்றைக்கி அதன் தொடர்ச்சியாக விசாரணையில் மூணு நாள் அவர் வச்சுருந்தது தவறுன்ற காரணத்தினால அவரை வந்து கைது செஞ்சுருக்கோம் அவரை வந்து ரிமாண்டுக்கு விட்டுருக்கோம் எல்லா விதமான நடவடிக்கையும் மேற்கொண்டு முழு மூச்சாக காவல்துறை செயல்பட்டு சென்னை காவல்துறை இந்த பணியை வந்து சுற்றிக்க முடிச்சுருக்கோம் இதில் தொடர்ச்சியாக மேற்கொண்டு ட்ரையல் ஃபாலோ பண்ணணும் வேறு யாருக்கும் இதில் என்ன சம்பந்தம் இருக்கிறது இதுவரையும் ஓரளவுக்கு விசாரிச்சாச்சு போலீஸ் ஆல்சோ செக்யூர்ட் அனதர் த்ரீ கிலோகிராம் ஆஃப் கோல்ட் ஃப்ரம் ரிலேட்டிவ் ஆஃப் த இன்ஸ்பெக்டர் இன் குரோம்பேட் so they were busted but had they got away with it do we know what they were planning on doing with the gold what they did plan to do with the remaining gold was they had tried to melt it now melting the gold is not as easy as it sounds so obviously a gang of childhood friends they are not going to be able to melt the gold so one of them he had sought a help of a friend from coimbatore a small time gold trader named shri watson he arranged a machine for them to melt the gold he also arranged for an expert so with the small machine the logistics were arranged they all met at a lodge in crompet where they tried to melt the remaining gold but all hell broke loose then the gold started emanating smokes they got scared that it would raise suspicions in the lodge and they abandoned the plan all of them were eventually caught so, like we discussed it was a plan designed to fail from the start safe to say murugan was no danny ocean not at all <laughs>